Welcome to uh, Sark Souls. I'm your boy, Dylon. If you know me from a past life, if you know me from this life, my name is also Dylan. It's spelled weird. Uh, I guess welcome back to Prepare to Dylon. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I feel like playing Dark Souls right now, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'll be 100% honest with you, it's been a bit, and I don't remember if I have the randomizer turned on, so <laughs> we're just gonna kind of find out as we go. Uh, I need to delete a character. I have lots of them, I care not for any of them. Uh, oh, I actually do care about some of them. Okay, you can see <laughs> the, the ones that have, uh, very low playtime, like, what is that, 20 minutes, 35 seconds? Uh, but he's got some crazy ass armor. That's the randomizer happening. Um, we're going to, I guess, find out in a second if the randomizer is on. Hey, it is. Would you look at that? Okay. We will proceed like normal. Sorry about my incessant microphone bumping and uh, horrible commentary, but that's okay. Uh, we're male today. Apparently, there's like some hitbox difference between the two. I know nothing about that. I'm not smart enough for that shit. Uh, we got Warrior, who has, uh, normally these are all 100% different, I will say. The randomizer is, uh, uh, taking into effect here, where it randomizes your starting gear, uh, it randomizes, uh, item drops. Basically, every, every item instance is, uh, effectively randomized. I think some, some key items are in the same spot, just so the game doesn't break completely. Uh, but we don't care about breaking the game. Or do we? Is that is that the goal? Are we breaking the game? Are we are we busting the game with with cheat codes and remember all those action replay ads? Anyway, uh, okay, so warrior we got here um, stats. I'm not even gonna read the stats. Who cares? You guys know Dark Souls. Dark Souls is fun. I, I'll probably do. Uh, this is just kind of a test thing, but if if this is fun, then I might just do a normal playthrough and just kind of commit to. Okay, we're gonna do cleric. We're gonna go with <laughs> clearly not what's going on here. Uh, but we're going to be a cleric on a pilgrimage. We are going to wield the mace. We are going to cast healing miracles, and we're going to do that till the end of the goddamn game. Uh, but there's some crazy stuff going on here, so I am going to quickly go through them. The warrior here has a, uh, I think that's the Drake sword, or maybe the Kellogg sword, which is a pretty strong fire weapon, uh, like mid-game. Uh, blacksmith hammer here, and a normal shield on the knight. We got a claw and some pokey sword. I don't know what kind of sword that is. Uh, Thief has Castus, and it looks like that's it, which would be pretty good for parry and some fisticuffs, but that's kind of it. Uh, spiked Club, or Reinforced Club, I forget which one that is, and some kind of dagger. It's very, uh, very simple, that dagger. Just metal, nothing else. Uh, we got the, one of the katanas. I'm gonna guess Uchi Katana, is that the, or maybe the EI, EI Toe, or the Washing Pole, something like that. I think that's all but one. Uh, short sword type of thing. <laughs> Pyromancer. I think that's actually the blacksmith hammer. Or maybe this, this is like the giant's hammer. I don't know. They're weird. Uh, and, uh, painter guardian sword, I think that is. Which I'm pretty sure is one of the best, like, dual wield weapons in this game. Because dual wield isn't super, uh, super good. Uh, cleric. Got the fist and the axe. And then, <laughs> the deprived, the unclothed enigma. Uh, he's got the club. I dropped my controller, and he's got the uh, helmet of avarice. I think it's called in this game. Let me just real quick turn down my volume because my ears are exploding. And the game only gets louder from here. Actually, I think Dark Souls is one of the few games where the menu is very misleading, where the uh, the opening like explosion splash screen is uh, loud as fuck, and then the rest of the game is kind of quiet. So uh, I'm gonna go for something a little funky, something a little fresh. Uh, no washing pole. I like that mask, though. That's a... Ooh, that's a big mask. Ooh, what do I go with? Okay, we're gonna do this little crappy axe. And, uh... And the fist. Just for fun. Just just to test it out. I'm gonna pick the master key, because I'm a bitch. And, uh, if, if the keys are randomized, I'll get screwed. I like to do, uh... Ooh, I used to do top heavy, cause that's, or large upper body, because I like to look buff. But now I'm, I'm digging the tiny head. We'll just go tiny head. Uh, we got to pick our Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling looking creation here. Uh, we'll go, we'll go bobbed. Color, dark red, of course. This is all completely random. I'm sorry. I'm staying true to the randomized nature of it. So I have a really weird glitch with my version of this game. I'm playing the Steam 
Uh, the Windows Live stuff has been cut out, but on the Prepare to Die edition, um, has all the DLC. I have this weird screen tear here, and I honestly don't know why, but it's taking the right half of the screen and just... It's only during certain cutscenes and the opening cinematic. That's why we got the, uh, the Sark Souls uh, intro. But uh, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. I just skip it because I don't want to ruin my immersion, you know? Immersion's very important when it comes to... Uh, hard games because if you die in the game you die in real life you know type of thing okay anyway so we're starting off here northern undead asylum i will be doing a lot of reading off the screen because i uh am usually semi-conscious and uh it brings me back to reality so to start off we have the eastern armor iron bracelet hollow soldier waist cloth that's pretty poo but um pretty light equipment except for the eastern armor is pretty heavy so yeah, we kind of have a medium-ish roll going. <laughs> I need something for comparison to actually know. But, oh, we started with the Force uh, spell, it looks like. And we're already a part of the Way of White. So this is pretty random. Uh, 21 uses. I don't know if that's stock. Like, if that's, how, if, if, if that's like in the vanilla game. But I guess we'll just bounce around, see what we pick up, see what we find. Uh, a lot of the... Uh, early game stuff is is scripted to be in certain areas like your um your starting equipment is always going to be in the same spot and it's it's based on actually let's see i don't i don't think we had any other magic but i'm just gonna... ah menus <laughs> let me see yeah okay just just force and we have uh da -da 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 -da, 11 attunement which i think is just the one slot we might be able to get a second one after a level um what was i saying oh yeah starting equipment so it's it's scripted to be whatever your um your class is supposed to start with. So in this case, our class is supposed to start with, uh, I think we picked the cleric, so the swamp axe. Oh yeah, run past this guy, he, he bad, he can't. Well, you can beat him, it's just a pain in the ass. Too much time, I got, I'm on a schedule here. Um, so we're starting with the swamp axe and the, or the kit hand axe, I guess, swamp axe, what the fuck am I? Uh, and the castus, which is the little fist weapon, which I did just fist, but I do not have the fist weapon equipped. I just have my, my good old fists equipped. Um, so we're going to mainly be using that for staggering enemies with the normal hit and then a, a parry or three. Um, this guy here, I think he's only going to wield the bow, so no no point in trying to parry him. We'll just chop him up. Bam! Uh, but the hand axe, I'm pretty sure, is a starting weapon, uh, like a vanilla starting weapon for Pyromancer. I'm going to get some of the little stuff wrong, so just kind of ignore me, but... Ooh, Indiana Jones. Okay. Boom. The, the health loss there is so minimal. If you are doing like a speed run type of deal here, um, dropping off is is more than acceptable, especially if you don't get hit by the boss because you're gonna hit a bonfire soon and blah blah blah. Ooh, uh, NPCs are also randomized, so he's got no pants on. He's got this uh, this giant Havel helmet. Uh, ooh, I couldn't tell you what the the chest armor is, but something bulky. He's looking badass. He's he's going bottomless. You know, we're trying to start the bottomless trend. Classic Harold and Kumar joke for you, which I think is the only only Harold and Kumar movie I've seen was that the one that had that joke in it, and I don't even know the name of it. So fuck, why am I even talking? Okay, so we go. Oh, that guy died by the way. He he's the one that saved us at the beginning. I skipped the the cinematic, but we'll just pretend we saw everything and it was it was all beautiful. Uh, so talisman. So the third equipment slot or like the the special equipment that your um. Your class starts with, I don't think, is randomized because they want it to be, hey, if you're picking cleric, you you best be a goddamn cleric. Uh, but we've got the force. Ah! I got hit! Uh, we've got the force push thing. So there you go. That's what it does. Really nothing to write home about, honestly. Uh, it's, ooh, hollow soldier armor. Hey. Fashion souls? It's lighter. We got, is that fast roll? I'm pretty sure that's fast roll. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, the, the boy still got it. The boy still got it. Curly Bob. Uh yeah, let's let's test this out real quick. Eastern armor. Boo boo boo. And then we got the hollow soldier armor. Ba ba. Ba ba. It seems to be about the same, honestly. Maybe a, maybe a tiny bit faster. So I did a boo boo, but I'm gonna hopefully not die during this fight. Oh god. Yeah, okay, I still <laughs> I still got it somehow. Dark Souls. So jank. Uh yeah, so I didn't heal before I went through the thing, so I activated the boss fight and everything. 
Let's see if I can do it here. Without getting hit. Bam! Oh my god. I'm dropping frames, boys. I'm dropping frames. Okay. With an actual weapon, like this this fight is like next to nothing. You can you can get got at a certain angle. But honestly, if you have a decent weapon to start with, you're uh, not gonna have any issues. Okay, and then we got the big pilgrim's key. I really want to mod this game just to throw in like the thanks Obama and stuff like that instead of you died or victory achieved. I think that shit's endlessly hilarious, but we'll forget about it for now. Forget about it, I can speak, just not quickly. Uh, so around the corner here, we have our first or one of our first randomized items. I guess the first would be this uh, hollow soldier helm, but got the iron bracelet. So iron bracelet, I'm pretty sure comes from Solaire. Yeah, Solaire of Astora, night, night of sunlight, high quality. So he's a he's a good boy, but he doesn't really have any uh, innate talents or special gifts, uh, especially based on his armor. Uh, but here we have the gold hem, black gloves worn by uh, the witch Quelana of Isolith, mother of pyromancy and daughter of chaos. I'm literally pointing at the screen to try to keep my brain on track. Uh, so this shit's good. You get this in uh, around the chaos area uh like the the volcano place um and yes my descriptions will be <laughs> that good throughout the whole run um but it it serves more as a counter to the fire magic yeah fire defense so you can see it goes from the iron bracelet which is not really proficient in fire defense so it goes from a 10 to a 24 where everything else is is pretty much the same just a little bit less so not so bad, honestly. Um, if we were going for straight defense, um, then I would just put on the iron bracelet, but I want to kind of have a more well-rounded well -rounded build here. Um, this is a great scene if it's the first time you're watching, so I guess I'll let it play out. Um, you just stand in here. They're talking about the prophecy and such. Hey, it's a burb. The burb pick you up, and you go. And then I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit here, but... Um, that bird is very important. This place is very important that we're in right now. It's the, the starting area to the, the pilgrimage. Um, so we are the chosen undead, blah, blah, blah. So story, story happens in the background. You can pay attention to it. You don't have to, honestly, it's not the end of the world if you do. Um, but here's where shit goes nuts. So you can see he's wearing completely different armor as was the, um, I think his name is supposed to be Oscar, the guy that saves us from the Undead Asylum. Uh, but something else that you'll soon realize <laughs> in, the, in the randomizer is that NPC, their armor is obviously randomized, but so is their inventory. Hello. So we're going to talk to this guy, Pet Petrus Thurland or something, Hello. something. I should really pay more attention in video games, but you can see instead of giving us a useless coin, he gives us a white Titanite slab. Which I haven't even played the game enough to know what that does. I know it's it's uh, like armor upgrades and stuff. Also, I'm already with the Way of the White. So thanks, my dude. Uh, but yeah, so he, he gave us some cool shit. Will we use it? Probably not. But we can also buy this for super, super cheap because everything is completely randomized. Um, let's focus on... like I almost want to buy it just because it's such a good deal. But like he'll be here later. It's not the end of the world. Uh, yeah, some random shit to buy. This is what he would normally give you, a copper coin, um, just to kind of get us the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, something I have not tried before with this randomizer. I haven't played much with the randomizer on, but okay. Gestures are not items, so they do not count. I shot my shot. I tried. Okay, so we're going to quickly grab this. Boom, Dragon Slayer arrow, sorcery, magic shield. Would be useful. We do not have a shield, though. Oh, I'm also very sniffly, so I'm sorry if you hear some some horking, some guttural sounds. All right, grab this one, see what we get. I don't think I hit randomize on the last time I did it, uh, or afterwards. So basically, when you when you do the randomizer, you activate the program, it decides it it places everything in the in the order it wants to, uh, and then it's just like starting the game normally. So the game's files are in different spots, but the game acts it proceeds as normal. It's just we're getting different things. I just explained what random means. Um, so I'm sorry. That I just mansplained everybody. Uh, but what I'm saying is I didn't hit randomize again after my last save. So I might actually kind of remember where some things are. Also, we just got the parrying dagger, which is pretty much useless because we have the case. This effectively does the same thing. It's just I think the case this has better uh, strength scaling. 
And if you don't know, if you're not super Dark Souls proficient in statistics and whatnot, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I don't want to be here. Um, strength is your damage with strength scaling weapons. Dexterity is your damage with uh, dexterity scaling weapons. I'm just kind of explaining GURPS, like generic role playing system, something, something. Um, but yeah, you could probably infer a lot of that stuff, honestly. But if anybody has questions, I guess ask. I don't know. I don't remember how this video thing works. I've been demonetized for years, so I don't even care at this point. Uh, okay, so we could spend our souls, our hard-earned souls, on leveling up some basic stuff that we have. But we have no new equipment that really requires that. Like, let me look at this. So if you look... How do I do this again? Pretty sure... No. I, I, I thought I could, like, toggle or, like, highlight certain things, but... No, okay, whatever. Um, if, if you look at the thing, it says param bonus just on the left column there. Param bonus, and there's a couple things with dashes through them. Uh, the little star is B. If you look on the right, uh, right side column, you'll see uh, the little star symbol lines up with faith. So faith scaling is B. My stat for, uh, or my faith stat is 14. So in turn, good scaling. And if you look just in between the, those two uh, columns there, You'll see required parameters. Uh, four in strength, it's a little muscle. You can compare it to the muscle on the right. Uh, dexterity, zero. Intelligence, zero. And then faith, 10. So we meet the minimum requirements. Uh, we do for this as well. Five strength, eight dex. And the scaling is CC. Uh, and then CD, where the, the uh, required parameters are 8A as well. Eight, eight. I can speak. Uh, and then, hey, we don't uh, meet the requirement for this. The pairing dagger requires 14 dex. We only have eight. So... We did not get that. It also has higher crit, but it'll be on our left hand if we were going to use it, so kind of useless. I'm thinking we go for a um, strength-focused build um, with uh, healing on the side. So that means heavy-ish armor. We can go without, honestly, because that's more points in endurance that we don't really need to spend. If I'm good with my inputs, then we won't. Like that. See, uh, if I miss that timing i would get hit and i would need more scaling or i would need more points into health or more point more points into endurance to uh, to offset the damage uh or to use better armor there's so many different ways you can go about God, that was too far uh so many different ways you can go about playing this game and routing and all that i'm just going to kind of go through whatever is natural to me uh like getting hit there also let's see what we get there's a little item over here. Um, don't fall, Dylan. Come on. You got this. Dylan or Dylan? I still haven't decided what I want to come back as. If I'm even coming back. Who knows? Okay. Very likely I'll just get hit here. Nope. 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 Okay. I fell anyway. So <laughs> it's all good. Um, if my souls are on the bridge, I might just say fuck it and just progress. If my souls are on the... Uh, the edge just before the bridge. I might actually grab them. It looks like they're on the bridge, so... God, what do I do? What have I done? My lack of skill. That's okay. I, I think I'm just going to proceed like normal. Um, I have... In the books, I have some exploits I can use to, uh, to grind a little bit easier off camera, so it's not really the end of the world. I'll be real with you. I might get hit from behind here. Oh, God. Wow. He just really wanted to leave me alone. I appreciate that, my dude. Oh, oh. All right. Next item. Item of interest. IOI. Soul of Lost Undead. Thank you for wasting my time. I really appreciate it. Okay. This is um, a little rat boy. He... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He um, is in a very awkward spot. So, depending on the uh, weapon you start with, you might not have a good attack. See, those are all horizontal slashes. That was my strong attack. Even my normal one is just a little bit diagonal. Horizontal, horizontal. So you can see if you don't have a good weapon for that narrow space, you can get poisoned really easily. That could kill a lot of early game players. Er, early game? Is that is that a phrase? I guess. Ah, first time players, that's what I wanted to say. Okay, but as long as you pay attention to your animations, uh, if you know the weapon well enough or practice with it in like an open area, you should be pretty good at, like, not hitting the wood and bonking off of it. Oh, you saw there I just did a little kick. That's a ah, that's another um, 
strategy you have, which would basically break shields just like I did by attacking. But these guys have such low poise, which is uh, basically your stability skill. Um, it's the skill that keeps you from getting staggered or getting knocked back. Higher armor um, or heavier armor uh, in turn usually has a higher poise or higher stability, which helps you from getting staggered. Um, if you are someone that doesn't like to put a bunch of points into endurance, I'm not phased by that dragon anymore. <laughs> if you're not someone that likes to put a bunch of points into endurance or you like to have lighter armor so you can get the quicker roll, um, you're also, if you do get hit, so if you're not super good at dodging, ah, like that, bro, um, then you're more likely to get hit, get staggered, and get kind of stun locked where they can just hit you a, a million billion times with no repercussions. Also, we're dropping frames like crazy. This game is not the or it's pretty jank like i said before um but you can choose to ignore it or you can talk about it endlessly for hours and i choose to ignore it or try to at least my brain's p pretty slow at uh processing things so i don't really fault my computer for doing the same that's just me being honest whoa geez came out of nowhere oh you can still see uh if you look off in the distance in the in the in the mist you can see my uh, my souls. So uh, one big thing about Dark Souls that I really do love about this game is that everything is tied together. So if I'm here now and I climb all the way, if you look at where my head is pointing up on that bridge, I think that's a place we go. Uh, we can look down and see basically everything down here. It'll be a, a cold version of it where it's just kind of low, low poly um, just to save on resources. But the game's dope. It does a super good job with it. It uses, oh shit, it uses its impossible space well, um, where things look like they're supposed to align, but in reality, they're really not supposed to. Um, but the game does a good job of it. And once you notice, oh, hey, this is the area I was just in, I'm just looking down at it, it's, uh, it's a cool sense of completion. Or when you, um, when you unlock a shortcut back to like the hub area, you're just like, oh shit, I've been here. I thought I was just going in circles. And I guess technically I am, but... This is a good thing, because then you can go back and heal, you can go back and shop, you can do all your all your RPG things that people love to do. Okay, so we are going to lure these boys out. Right now, what we've got uh, in this building, ah, to the right of us, um, there's a bunch of guys throwing firebombs down at us, so we don't want to mess with them right now. Oh, God! I did it. Oh! I Was it this one that just hit me? Damn, he's sneaky. Might have been some clipping there. Oh, oh, it came from behind us. Uh, so that that was actually a very unsafe place to be, but that's okay. Run up here, kill this guard. I don't think I've ever been hit once by this guy. I don't even think he has a good vantage point. Like, I guess it would just be when you're attacking those guys there that he would uh, have a good uh, vantage point on you and actually be able to hit you from behind. Um, but we are going to... I guess wait for these guys? Are they almost, are they almost here? Oh, they're just all chilling. Okay, let's see if we can do this without dying. If we die, that's okay. That's life. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Just don't throw anything at me, and I will be okay. Okay, so um, many inputs d uh, really likes to lag the game. So we're, uh, again, we're just going to live with it. We're just going to roll with the punches. But that was, that was tough. That was, that was sexy. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Anyway, I think we're going to call it for right here. Um, going for about 20-something minutes. That seems like a good place to stop. And I don't want to pay for Adobe Premiere again. So the least editing I can do, the better. Was that English? I don't know. That's the kind of content you're going to get here. Okay, everybody? I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i catch you guys later. Fist bump. G give me an X. Um, I keep doing that. I'm so used to, like, follow where you press and hold your... Uh, Whatever the, the left face button is to put your equipment away. I'm just a weirdo. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, God. What do people do? Uh, uh, bye. Graceful. I like it. Okay, see you next time.